As expected, new variants of COVID-19 are still popping up around the world, despite an overall decline in cases, including hospitalization. Now, since emerging in the late 2021, the highly transmissible Omicron strain subvariants are now driving fresh waves of COVID-19 cases around the world. So while XBB appears to be gaining traction in Asia, a close cousin of XBB called BQ1.1 is spreading fast around Europe and some U.S. states. And now, as of this writing, with this new subvariant called the XBB, do we need to worry, especially with local news, headlining the possibility of having XBB now entering the country or already in the country due to the opening of the borders. Let's watch this. The new subvariant of Omicron called the XBB variant has been recently detected in two neighboring Asian countries, specifically Singapore, where the new COVID-19 cases have more than doubled in just a day. And this same variant is also now noted to have appeared in Hong Kong, causing the same uptick in cases. Hospitalizations have been shown to increase along with increasing cases but the death count due to COVID-19, which is a pretty good news, has not increased. Now, this XBB variant actually is a combination of multiple strains of Omicron variant with at least seven mutations along the spike, making it easier to evade detection from the antibodies produced by our vaccines. Now, the bad news is it is believed to be more transmissible than other strains, however, However, it is not clear how virulent the variant is. Now, it also evades antibodies from monoclonal therapies, thereby potentially rendering the whole category of drugs ineffective as COVID treatments. But here's some good news. The new bivalent vaccine boosters from Pfizer and Moderna seem to work just fine against XBB, even though the original strains or the original vaccines were less effective against it. Now, it is important for everyone to be reminded, however, that these bivalent vaccines won't prevent all infections or reinfections, but they should significantly reduce the chances of that person getting infected from developing severe infection, potentially leading to hospitalization and death. Likewise, even with the immune evasive variants vaccine production against what matters most, and that is severe disease, remains intact. Although the new variants will continue to evolve and may become more resistant to certain types of drugs, my advice is to always keep you current on your booster shots, as this is the most beneficial thing you can do in preparation for what COVID will offer. Now, it is possible to mitigate the worst outcomes. Now, we know that natural antibodies from past infection are still the best and the most durable in terms of antibodies, but they don't last forever. But while they do last a few months to potentially a year, the chance of catching a bad case of COVID is pretty low. Now, these bivalent vaccines should work pretty well against all forms of the virus that are closely related to BA.5, including the XBB and the Scrubbles. But the question is what's next after XBB and its cousins? As what I have said in my previous video, the possibility of an annual COVID vaccine shot is eminent. As the virus continues to change, we should be able to update our vaccines annually to target what is dominant during that season or during that year, just like the annual flu vaccine. With this in mind, we're eventually going to need, therefore, another new booster to keep pace with a fast-evolving virus. Now, XBB 
is at present our new enemy. And it seems to be pretty bad. We have to accept the fact that COVID will keep mutating and finding new ways to evade our antibodies. But as COVID is here to stay, literally it means we can't and we aren't done with it. Therefore, please get boosted. If you haven't, please do it now. And be prepared to get boosted again in 2023 and yearly thereafter. For now, I'll keep my mask on and wait for the bivalent booster to come. Again, this is Dr. Jerry Tan. Please get boosted. Stay safe. See you again soon.